Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm be showing you how to blur the highlights in Adobe Premiere Pro. So I've done almost this exact same video in After Effects, but I realized that I've never done it in Premiere Pro. And with some of the new updates coming out to Premiere, I noticed that I can now accomplish basically the same effect in Premiere Pro and sort of get a neat look to it. And basically what we get is this right here. And you see that the, the highlights are the only thing that are being like blurred sideways. And this is good for like dream sequences or confusion sort of sequences. It just, it, it captures that confusing sort of moment where it still looks like something, but everything's distorted in a predictable sort of confusing way. So this is what we're gonna be creating today. So let's get started. First thing you need to do is just create yourself a new sequence and drag your footage in. So if we delete this out, we can just grab our footage, which is right here, drag it in, and then uh, I'm gonna unlink the audio just so we don't have to keep hearing it. And you'll see that we just have this normal piece of footage right here. So what we need to do is we actually need to duplicate this footage. The reason for it is we're gonna be creating basically like a mask on just the highlights, but we're gonna be doing it in sort of a creative way that makes it pretty simple. So the first thing we need to do is just, like I said, duplicate. Easiest way to do that is to click on this, click Control, and then click V. Now you'll notice that sometimes it doesn't post it where you want. You wanna make sure that this column right here, that it's highlighted where you want to paste it. So we're gonna put only V2, and it's gonna put it on V2, and then we can do it another one on V3 like so, and it's also gonna post where your cursor is, so make sure your cursor is at the beginning and we can do that like so. But let's just go with two and we'll duplicate it another time a little bit later. So now we have this second image or this second piece of footage that's identical to the first. See if we turn it on and off, nothing changes. What we wanna do is we wanna go over to our color tab or just open up Lumetri in any way, shape or form. Then we wanna go over to RGB curves like so. You can also use the effect RGB curves over here if you search uh, curves, but that this is actually an obsolete effect, so that means it's going to disappear after a certain amount of time, and the reason for that is just all over here in Lumetri. So either or, but I'm gonna use Lumetri. Click on the top piece of footage, and what we wanna do is we want to only select the highlights. Easiest way to do that is to go to this curves and just click somewhere near the middle and drag it straight down. And you see what it's doing is it's turning everything that's not a highlight, which is the right side over here, into pure black. And this is helpful because now we can actually do some stuff with it and make sure that you only create one here. And so we can choose how much we want our highlights to go, but I usually go right about here, maybe halfway through the, the um, bottom right square right here. And this will select you know, just your highest points. And now that we have only the highlights selected, you'll see that if we you know, turn it on and off, we can see that. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the piece of footage, go over to effect controls, then drop down in blend mode, we're going to go into screen. And you'll notice nothing has changed. Um, it looks like the bottom piece. You'll see that there's a slight difference in some of the coloration, just a very, very slight. You can kind of notice it right there. But other than that, the footage is exactly the same. And that means we've done our job right because that means that this piece of footage, this top piece of footage has only the highlights selected, but it still is just overlaid onto this. And now once we have that done, which is those couple of clicks, we can now search for a blur. And I'm gonna use the directional blur. You could really do anything, but the directional sort of really sells it because it makes it in a specific direction, you know, stretching it horizontally or vertically. And I'm gonna drag that onto the top clip right here. And then now we're gonna click on it, make sure we're back in effect controls, down to directional blur, and we're just gonna blur it. And you'll see that it starts off up and down. I like to go to 90 degrees, left and right, I think looks a little bit better. And you'll notice that it's only blurring the highlights. Like down here, this is perfectly um, intact. There's nothing being touched here. But when we get into the very high points up here, we have that shine attaching to it. You know, you can do it really small too, like just a tiny bit of blur on it, and that sort of just makes it look shiny, um, like really, really shiny in the top. And you know, maybe if you went with, uh, instead of like a, a directional blur here, you could add like a camera blur to the top one, and you'll see that you get sort of this uh, soft, shiny look onto the highlights, which is also a pretty neat effect in itself. This one's really subtle, but it does give you that shiny sort of feel to it. And like I said, that, that can give you a certain emotion as well. So what you do wanna do is just basically choose any of the blurs that you think will fit your scene. Like I said, I like the 90 degree sort of blur length to make it a little confusing, and you'll get this blur. Now, if you want it to be stronger, there's no other really way to make it stronger except to copy and paste the footage again. 
So if we click on the top one, make sure you click the one with the, F, the FX, the effects right here. Click Control C, make sure that V3 is selected, click Control V. And now you see that it is stronger than it was before. And you can copy and paste it as many times as you would like. And that is basically the effect, how to get that really blurred sort of look onto uh, your highlights. And you know, you could add multiple layers. I can make this one really long. So maybe we have two sets of blurs. Uh, a shorter one and a longer one. The longer ones are, of course, are going to be dimmer because there's only one layer, while the shorter ones have two separate layers overlapping it, so they're going to be brighter. You know, you can do a lot of stuff with this. But that is how you blur the highlights in Adobe Premiere Pro. Thanks for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw them in the comment section below. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button make and make a video every other day on Adobe-related content. And until next time, guys, see ya.